yeah, we are also quite a garage startup. So it, it's uh, mid of 90. And uh, our chief engineer, our CTO, did this lab council, was doing home, home business of uh, designing and manufacturing satellite TV receivers. And then he had a problem. Again, La Telecom is it's big thanks to La Telecom <laughs> always, uh, because in his uh, home in countryside, he didn't have a phone line. But his friend across the Daugava River had one, and he designed a microwave-based telephone line extender for himself. So this was just, you know, uh, because he applied for La Telecom for a line, and they said, okay, we will put you in a queue and you will have a phone line in 15 years. La Telecom still don't have a phone line here, there, you know, because it, it's, it's, it's quite a middle, middle of, of woods. Uh, but, uh, you know, designing something which fills a gap uh, in the business offering or in the market is quite an obvious way uh, to start a new business, you know, being that uh, gaming uh, mouse or combination of mouse and, and keyboard or, or, you know, anything or, or Wi-Fi router. And uh, Soft Technica is no different. So he, he designed and manufactured his own first simple radio link. And this is started from there, you know. Neighbors wanted phone line extender, and then there was a tender uh, for uh, microwave links to get a network to the remote uh, border guards and uh, customs offices uh, around Latvian border. And, you know, it's again grew uh, organically. And then you see a next opening, some lack in the market, and then you design a new product. So, for instance, all that, our test and measurement equipment, uh, we designed again for ourselves because we had a contract to uh, install a microwave network for mobile operator in Lagos, in Nigeria. And we found out that uh, all frequencies which were allocated, in fact, were already occupied because there was a mess in regulations and, you know, everybody was putting equipment as, as they wished. And so you cannot, uh, simply you could not build a network according to specs you were given. So you need an instrument to measure what frequencies are available. And at that time we were buying out of market spectrum analyzers and then they're chunky and heavy. And you imagine if you have like five kilograms unit and then you have to climb a 60 meter tower. It's difficult. And so at the end of the day, we designed uh, a test equipment. We designed a portable small spectrum analyzer, which is dedicated for, for a person who have a two hands, who have to climb a tower and hold with one hand. So you have just one hand left to operate. You know? Very many equipment is designed for persons with three hands. You know, it's, it's uh, obvious because that uh, design engineer is putting that equipment on the table and then he can play with it, right? But very often you have just one hand available. So this was basic business idea. And then it grew from that. And uh, that third sensor line also grew from needs. And then you fulfill some need and then you see the next step, you know, and then it's again your choice to go after it or, or not. 